everybody, Gina DeLuca here. We're gonna have some fun today. Check that out. A friend of mine uh, who does 3D printing uh, made this for me. I've seen some uh, pictures and there's been videos. I know Julie Cuts did a video with one of these. Uh, I had him make mine with five chambers. That way I can use only four if I want, but I have an option to use five. Colors. I'm going to be doing a rainbow type thing. Uh, we'll see how, uh, how this works out. I'm not going for cells, but y'all know I get cells no matter what, whether I want them or not, especially when I don't want them. So I have some Dioxazine Purple, Liquitex Basics, uh, and I did put a bit of white, just a touch, to lighten it up a little because this does dry almost black. In fact, sometimes I use it in place of black. I have um, the Thalo Blue and the Liquitex Basics. You can see the consistency and I'll show you on a brighter color. It's kind of dark. So this is Thalo Green and if you can see it forms a mound and it disappears. Not too thick, not too thin. You always want to double check your colors to make sure they haven't thickened up on you. This is uh, Cadmium Yellow in Liquitest Basics. This is a mix of the Cadmium Yellow Basics and uh, Vermilion in Artist Loft. This was clumpy, bummed me out. But what I did I put a piece of nylon with a rubber band over the cup and you can see all those clumps. They would not mix in and they would have ruined my painting. And then I have the Quinacridone Magenta Liquitex Basics. Okay, I will be using the purple as my background and adding the colors into my cup, like so, in this order. I tried to make some room so I can get this in frame. So uh, thank you to my friend Michael for making this for me. He designed it from scratch. He makes some pretty amazing things. And for years I've been saying, I'm gonna get you to make me something one day. And I finally found it. This is a 16 by 20 canvas. That would need 11, 12 ounces of paint, something like that. So what I'm hoping will happen is I'm, I'm gonna try to do like a waterfall type pour. I'm not quite going for the angel wings, but I want the colors to come out and have some texture to them, not just a straight line of paint. Visual texture, not uh, actual tactile texture. So this is going to hopefully 
be too much paint. It's a big cup, it's a big vessel, but I like to work big. And this is kind of a test piece. And I'm hoping to do something very large with this technique. Okay, if you can see that, it's kind of cool. All right, here's your base coat. All right, I just have these silicone cups. I'm gonna front this on, sit it up a little higher, give it an angle. Okie dokie, here it goes. There's no handle on this thing, which is giving me a little bit of a hard time making sure I have it perfectly centered. I breathe now okay let's stretch this baby out remove the cups put me back to level Not trying to catch any edges quite yet. Just wanted to stretch this out a bit. Interesting that the blue was on the outside and yet, <laughs> huh, that's very interesting. Hadn't anticipated that happening. All right. Let's come in, catch and stretch. You know the drill. Bring the paint back to center. I do wanna make sure I leave some of that purple showing. It's part of my spectrum.
I don't want to balance that out just a little bit. Sorry if any of this was out of frame. I have a feeling it was, but it's a big, it's a big piece. All right. Well, I'm going to leave that just like it is, I think. There's still a good bit of paint on this canvas, but I don't want to dump anything off. Oh dear. Hate when that happens. Well, I guess I will just scrape my uh, edges down here and hope for the best. I'm going to clean this up a bit, and I'll bring you in for a close-up. Okay, here it is. I got cells. Always do. Doesn't matter what pouring medium I use, I will get cells. But I love these colors. They pop off of this canvas. I like the large patches that break up into the smaller, not quite rings, but I dig it. I'm really looking forward to see what I can do with this cup. I see lots of 3D things going on in my future. Anywho, uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. Please do like and share and subscribe and all that good stuff. Do check out the description box below for links to my PayPal tip jar if you feel so inclined. Uh, if you find these videos useful and want to help me stay stocked up in supplies, that's a great way to do it. Also, my Amazon store, anything that you purchase off the entire site of Amazon, I receive a small commission of at no additional cost to you. So that also helps me stay stocked up in supplies and doesn't cost you anything. That like delicate layering right there, I dig on that. That's pretty. And right there, like orange on top of the green and yellow and it didn't turn muddy at all. Beautiful. And uh, let's see, what else is in that description box? The link to my website. GinaDeluga.net. That is where you can find my art for sale and my music, including my new album, Better Than Chocolate. There's a music video. Uh, was the, the last video I posted for Better Than Chocolate, the song. So check that out if you haven't seen it already. And also, last but not least, go make some art. Join our Facebook group. Post your masterpieces, ask questions, get some inspiration. And I think that's it. So thank you again, Michael, for the cup. I am most appreciative. And that's it for me. I hope you all have a beautiful day. Now go make some art.